Welcome back to my Lego studio. Behind me is a shot that you've seen plenty of times before if you've been following this channel. It's of my Lego shelf, and that includes all of the sets that I've built on this channel, which is everything that you see on this side, and all the sets that I still have yet to build, which is my Lego backlog, and that's what this whole video is gonna be about. I'll just warn you ahead of time, I think this video is gonna run a little long because we have a lot of sets to go through, but I think it'll be worth your time. So let's get started. We'll start all the way up here at the top corner with the Minecraft crafting box set number 21116. Paid, I'm not sure how much I got this for, I think it's a $50 set. I remember being really upset about this because I got it from Walmart and they put my name and stuff on it. So I tried taking the sticker off and it pretty much ruined the bottom of the box. And there was also a spot thing on the back and you can see it got a little smashed up too. But this is an eight in one set. I would need to get through this build because I want to build everything that you can build in this. I'm just going to start setting stuff on the ground because I want to reorganize this shelf as it is. The next set is another Minecraft set. I got this one for Christmas. It's 21120, the snow hideout. Again, this is a really cool set, and this is actually something that I wanted for a build that I'm gonna do in combination with another set, which I'll be showing you here shortly. My last Lego Friends set that I haven't built yet. This is Lego Friends set 41118 Heart Lake Supermarket. That took care of the top shelf. Now let's move down a little bit. I'm sure you could already tell, but this entire shelf is Star Wars sets. Starting at the front, this is Star Wars set. 75099 Ray's Speeder. I love this set. I can't believe that I haven't built it yet. I've seen some alternate builds for this. Man, I'm excited about this set. I picked this up on a steal of a deal. And that's pretty much how I came across all these. If you're wondering how I got this crazy backlog, it's because I was buying more sets than I was building, obviously. I'd see a deal that would come up, buy it, it would come to my house, and then it would go on the shelf, and it just it would really just sit there. And the crazy thing is most of these sets that you're looking at here, I've owned for more than a year. I don't think I've bought really any of these in 2017. They're all 2015 and 2016 for the most part. So obviously I got some building to do, but let's continue on with this video. This is set number 75120. This is K2SO. Amazing set. This is probably my favorite buildable figure. And I think I mentioned that when I did the whole video on this. So awesome. So much better than Baze Malbus, which was the one that I built for Clark and he destroyed. Now we will go on to another buildable figure. This is the First Order Stormtrooper. I think not quite as cool, but probably my second favorite. And these are probably at this point, other than Chewbacca, which just came out, probably the only buildable figures that I plan to own. This set's actually opened. I just have it over there because it was my Star Wars shelf, but behind it is another one. I intend to sell this. I'll take it off the shelf since I'm reorganizing anyway. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell this, pick this up. You'll have to go back and watch the haul video. I'll pop it up up here. I got this on crazy clearance and I don't need two of them. I just bought it because I, why not if it was so cheap? So this is gonna get sold once the set price goes up. I said in previous videos, I'm not a Lego investor, but if you see a crazy deal and you have the chance to score it, you might as well get two of them and sell it. We'll leave this one for right now, but I wanna talk about this because this was also, on a similar note, this is 75151 Clone Turbo Tank. This is a set that I got for a crazy deal as well, and I was gonna build this, I just haven't had the time. I'm debating whether to sell this one or not. I do wanna build it. It looks like a great set. In fact, I think it's probably better than the ATTE. It's just, do I have the time to really get through this? I don't know, but we'll check the prices on this. I think I'm probably gonna end up building this. But if you wanna talk about debates over building, this set that we're about to look at here, I don't know what I want to do with this one. I've owned this, I got this at Walmart on a crazy clearance. It was the greatest clearance day I've ever had in my entire life. I went into Walmart, it was like 2015. I go into the, the Lego aisle and the entire aisle is on clearance. And I picked up tons of sets. I think I made a video about it. Like it was like 14 sets or something like that. This was one of them and one of the few that I haven't built yet. And this one is such a great set and I'm just like, should I open this? Because I feel like the price on this one's gonna go up and would it be worth a whole bunch of money someday if I just didn't open it? But man, it looks like it's so much fun to build. Look at all the great stuff in here. This is uh, 75052 Mos Eisley Cantina. You can probably already tell that. Probably one of my oldest sets that I think I have so far. I know most of you have been watching for a long time, but my backstory is in 2013, I got back into collecting Lego, something I had done as a, as a kid, probably up until I was 12 or 13, which was 1996. So I went a long time without doing anything with Lego and it struck my mind. I was like, I wanna get back into this. It was something I loved from my childhood. And I wanted to rekindle that. And that's when I started this channel and I've just been documenting everything. And like I said in the beginning of this video, everything that you see on this shelf over here, I've done a video on everything over here, which is kind of crazy to think about. And that's kind of what's supposed to be continuing over here. I just am behind. So we're gonna go down to the next shelf 
and we're gonna check out these sets behind me. If you've been watching my videos, you know I did a little bit of organizing. I just kinda wanna keep things in themes, so we'll do the creator stuff first. This is a set that I got from Amazon, got completely soaked out on my front porch step when I got it. So the box is a little mangled, but it's just a small little creator car. This is 31055 Red Racer. Another creator set, this is 31043 Chopper Transporter. Just start dropping these. This one is 31042, Super Soar. I love these crater sets because they're three in one. I think it's my favorite theme by far. I just love everything about them. But I love the builds and the fact that you can get three builds out of one set, I think makes it worth it. But this one is 31045, Ocean Explorer. And speaking of three in ones, this one's great because you get to build a boat, a plane, and a submarine. It's like, what more could you possibly want from a Lego crater set? City sets, couple of them that I haven't built yet. We've got this little one, this is 601, 05 Fire ATV, and we've got 60117 Van and Caravan. I had a set like this as a kid that was, it was just the the camper van or like RV, and it had a surfer and stuff with it. I think I might have done a video on it, but this kind of reminded me of that, but this is so much better than what that one was. I need to build this. And that could be said about every one of these sets you're looking at. Now, this one, picked this up at the end of the year last year at Toys R Us, and this is the set that I wanted to talk about that goes with the Minecraft set. What I want to do with this is I want to build this Minecraft set or use the pieces from it and I want to combine it with probably at least one or two of the buildings from this and kind of put them together in a way that it looks like New York City is frozen over. So I'm going to use a lot of these white pieces and I got these two kind of at the same time with that plan. The thing is though, they both remain unbuilt. So that plan didn't go very far, but that's kind of like a little mock thing I wanna do, or I guess you'd call it an alternate build maybe. Is it an alternate build though when you're combining two sets? I don't know, it's just a set combination I suppose. This is a Technic set. This one I made a rant video on, uh, talking about Kmart and their clearance prices. Take a look at that, it was $42.99 marked down to $40 on clearance on a $39.99 set. What a crazy deal. Hey, we just finished another shelf. Let's go down a little bit lower. This is, I don't know what the shelf is other than falling apart. This is, I guess, my ideas station and also some classic and some other promotional stuff. We'll start with this set. I got this for Christmas last year as well. This is the Lego Maze, which is an idea set. It's 21305. Man, isn't that set cool? The thing about this set, and the thing that I think about most of this is the set that I didn't get. I think it was December of last year I picked this up on Target's website, but at the same time they had this on a crazy sale, they also had the Wally -E set as well. And I put this in my card, I put the Wally -E one in there, and I was like, ah, I don't know if I want both of those. I waited like a day, the Wally -E was sold out, this was still there, I got this, and I wish I would have gotten the Wally -E set. It would be on my backlog right now though, so I guess I shouldn't be too heartbroken over it, but I do have this, and I think this is probably, in my opinion, a better set than the, the Wally -E set is for sure. We're running out of floor space here, believe it or not. Let's go on to the other idea set. This one, oh my goodness. It's probably one of my favorite Lego sets, because I'm a nerd. This is Lego idea set 21301, simply titled Birds. And this is great because you get to build these three birds that you can see here. I haven't built any of them yet. What I was thinking about doing is maybe like in the springtime, I was planning to, to build these, you know, as a celebration that spring's finally here. Didn't build it. Now we're we're in fall and going towards winter right now, so kind of failed at that. Consider this whole backlog shelf a failure because these are sets that I should have built by now and I should be buying new sets. In fact, there are still sets from 2016 and 2017 that I still want to pick up, but I'm reluctant to do so because I have so much in this backlog as it is. I guess the only solution is to get building and that's what we're going to do. And that's why I'm making this video because I want to get this all out there. This is my backlog and then you're going to see it crinkle down into nothing and then become no backlog. Moving on. These four sets kind of go together. Let me get them all flipped around here. These Lego classic sets, when I saw these come out, I had to have them I actually paid regular price for these, which is something that's unheard of for me with Lego. I always try to get deals. You guys know me. So uh, this is classic sets number uh, 107, 06, 08, 09, and 07. So all four of them. And you can build all kinds of little cool little things with these. I love Lego Classic, you guys know that if you've been following my channel. Does anyone else love Lego Classic? That's what I wonder though. Everyone's getting into these specialized sets and I'm guilty of it too, I have a lot of them. But Classic is just, it's classic, it's what it is. One of the reasons I like Classic so much is because it's so much like Creator. These two lines I think are, are Lego's best, although most people I think would probably say Star Wars. I think that's what most people's favorite are. These two sets, pick these up I think from Toys R Us's website. I think they were part of the Bricktober deal from, was it maybe 2015, I think, or 2016? We've got set 40141, Bricktober Hotel, and we got 40144, Bricktober Toys R Us store. I got these for like half price on Toys R Us's website. I think they were $10 each. Still unbuilt though. And that, my friends, 
takes care of that shelf. And now we're gonna move on to the final shelf, which is my seasonal shelf, AKA Christmas shelf. All the way down to the floor now. Let's see what sets we have here. Let's start with, ah, we'll get this one out of the way, I guess, first. This is 40093. No title, I'm just gonna call it the Lego Snowman. Picked this up, I think, at Toys R Us. I loved it, had to have it. The same time I got that, I'll do one of these other seasonal sets and get it out of the way. Got this bat, this is 40090. I'm gonna be building this here for Halloween. I actually have something else coming too, which will be in a future video for Halloween. Other seasonal set, we'll get this one out of the way too. Doing all these small ones. This is 40121, no title, but this is like the Easter egg painting. Found this set at Kmart, surprisingly. They never have any seasonal sets like this, but I found it there and I scooped it. Now we'll do this one. Ooh, I love this set so much. Gonna be building this this Christmas. This is Lego Creator set 10249 Winter Toy Shop. Oh my goodness. This could be one of the greatest Crater sets ever released. Oh, I love it so much. The reason I love it is because it reminds me of my favorite time of the year, which is Christmas. It reminds me of Advent Calendar because of all this stuff down here. It's just like a giant Advent Calendar that you have to build. And, oh, I'm looking forward to building this so much. And the reason that I like to collect these holiday sets like this, and I have a couple other ones I'm about to show you, it's because I want to make a tradition with my son and my, my wife that each year we're going to rebuild like the same set. So it'll be like a thing that he'll re my son will remember growing up. It's like, oh, this set right here, this is a part of my childhood because every Christmas Eve we would build this set and I'm sure there'll be more that comes out. In fact, this year I'm going to be getting the winter train. I'm going to be doing that probably the beginning of November because I want to get the other advent calendar. This is the one from last year, which should be on my backlog because I haven't actually built anything from this yet, but I did do a video on it, so I'm gonna consider that a done set. Now my son's riding his tricycle upstairs, so if you hear some noise, just bear with me on that. Besides, we only have a couple more sets left. This is a promotional set. This is the Gingerbread House, 40139. Oh, love this set. This is gonna be one of those ones like I was just talking about that we rebuild each year. Oh, it's just such a good set. And in addition to that, this is 40138, titled Christmas Train. I'll show you my other Christmas set that I have here too. We've already done this one. This is 10245, Santa's Workshop. Could Lego possibly make any better Christmas sets? So good. I'll put that back over here. And then the only other thing that I have on this shelf is something that my mother-in-law got me. This is the brick storage carry case. I don't really have any use for this so far, but you never know. I still have the packaging on it. My son seems to like this, so maybe I'll make it a part of his collection. That, my friends, is my Lego backlog. I have no idea how many sets are there, but I'm sure someone counted it and is probably gonna leave it as a comment. But yeah, I've got a lot of building to do, that's for sure. I have so many sets to get through. I was gonna set a goal to have every one of these sets done by the end of the year. I just don't know if that's realistic. Do you think that's something that I could do is build every single thing here? I mean, it's it's pretty serious. That's a lot of stuff right there to build. And I'm trying to figure out if I have the time to get through all of this with all the videos that I do. I mean, I've been trying to do daily videos on this channel, but I like to do a lot more than just builds and unboxings. I do deals and all kinds of things. Plus we like to play with this stuff as we build it as well. So I don't want to make it like a factory where I'm just trying to get through it just for the sake of completing it. But I got to cut this down because like I mentioned, there are some sets from 2016 that I will still want to buy and I want to get them before they get completely out of stock and retired like the Lego Friends set that I showed you earlier this week. And there's some sets from 2017 as well that I still need to get. So I wanna to get to the point where I'm completely caught up and when I get a haul, I just start building it. Like I get a haul, open it up, and then we build it that week and we move on and just keep this thing going. So that's the plan. I just wanted to get this video out there to show my backlog and see, see how bad it is. I always talk about my Lego backlog. And, and that's it. But I'm sure I'll get through this. This is something that I love to do. Probably my number one hobby with the combination of making videos and making Lego stuff. This is a match made in heaven making YouTube videos, and I'm having such a good time. I appreciate you coming along for the journey in my Lego collecting. Thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumb up if you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos, especially with all this stuff that you see behind me here, how about you subscribe? And as always, we'll see you in the next video.